Hey folks, welcome back to Rome 2 Total War and our Greek co-op let's play. I am Evil Viking 13, aka Dave, and I am joined by Joel to name Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Oh, that's horrifying. Alright, Joel, you are still Sparta, I am still Athens. It is what year is it? 268 BC. So it is way back in the day. Technology <laughs> is crap. <laughs> About about 80 years back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give or take. Just before the Great War. <laughs> yeah, just before the Great War. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's my plan here? Is it your turn or my turn? Oh, it's my turn. Yep, it's your turn. Alright, I think the plan was, seeing you took Larissa up here, I'm going to take... Um, Apollyona? Which is also owned by Ipirus. The faction that owns oh, okay. the, yeah, these, Larissa. These... Fine looking man on the left. Nice. That's my next target. My guys oh, cool. are down here. Oh, that is now a giant old telephone <laughs> going. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I just read something really funny. On the on the bottom left where it shows your advanced cavalry tactics, or like if you click on something, or apparently I'm clicked on something, it says Hippias Stables? Hippias Stables? I thought it said Hippie Stables. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? did they have those back then? <laughs> <laughs> they just keep them outside. You know, you don't want the hippies <laughs> dirtying up your living room. <laughs> <laughs> hippie Stables. I was like, what game is this? <laughs> oh, I have a fleet down here, too. What is he doing? Ready for oh, he's going ah. around. Ah, there shows a two icon now for the turns remaining. Forming a blockade! Yeah, there's been a bunch of UI updates and stuff like yeah, that, too. Yeah, because it didn't show that last time. That would have been helpful for someone like me. <laughs> well, just overall, there's been a ton of improvements. It's been almost three weeks since we played. It was actually launch day the last time we played here, so... Alright, my fleet is on the way. Um, Ready for orders. We hunger for battle. One of the subscribers actually posted on our last video and said that even if only one of us has troops in a battle, I can actually give you some of my forces to control in the battle. Oh, that'd be fun. So, like, if you're, if you're way far away, we don't have to wait for your troops to get there. Oh, that's cool. None will escape. Okay, my guys are out of movement Ready range, it looks like. Um, actually, make, man, make, my second make. army there is like really disheveled. It's it's really beaten up. You can call me Nix. I'm going to attempt to poison the wells of the city, which will injure all seven. of the troops fortified there. The lose, I think it's um. Anywhere from 5 to 20% of the units per regiment if I poison the wells. <laughs> Take that nasty huh. water. Take it! I have an upgrade for one of my generals here. Just a small personality upgrade. I'm going to make him into a strategist. Not sure what it does, really. <laughs> we'll just go with that. I am actually low on funds for next turn. I'm going to increase my taxes. By a lot? Oh gosh, I hired too many troops. Oh no! I need to... Ah, <laughs> uh, I hired too many command. mercenaries. I, I gotta get rid of one of my units of mercenary hoplites. Sorry guys, I'll miss you. Wow, they're expensive. 400 gold per turn to upkeep? Holy cow. Well, they're, they probably have tactical beards. <laughs> yeah, so, mercenary a tactical lot of money beards. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of that scares the enemy. It's like, oh my gosh, they got such long beards. We can't grow any. <laughs> Flee! <laughs> we are Flee girly men. That should be it for me. Yo, Dave, when are we going to go through the Misty Mountains? Because I'm standing um, near standing near them really close. Because I want to go meet the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> to go, go find the dwarves in the mountains. <laughs> Watch out for Smeagol. So what's our overarching plan here? Um, I think our initial talk was that we want to create a Greek Empire to rival the Roman Empire, because in, in this time period, like, Greek nations were kind of declining, and Rome was about to become a thing. Dave, are you getting all horse historical on me? Because I just want to dominate. That's basically my plan. <laughs> okay, so Joel's plan is dominate. I want to kill every other country. <laughs> I, I want to dominate historically. <laughs> <laughs> Dave wants to create an RPG role-playing thing back background with history and characters. Oh, did you press go? Yes. Okay, cool, because I was like, I saw a little thing. 
Joel talking, I'll just hit go. That's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. And on to the battle. <laughs> and they skip. Apollyona. And the first Apollo thing we're going to want to do is, is finish conquering the rest of the Greek nations. And then from there, probably... I would say, like, forget all of the uh, the more Middle Eastern, like, Egyptian nations across the Mediterranean. Forget Carthage. Just focus directly on Rome as soon as we push north to, like, the rest of the Greek territories. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> that was not a convincing yeah, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find where all, of Gre all the Greek nations are right now. Or all the armies. I'm still think, trying to understand uh, the whole maps and everything. Macedon, right there, is a Greek nation, and, um... Ah, put me on a map view! I just realized it's not dragging me around the map as the countries take their turns. I can actually still go around. That's cool. That's new. Bring up the full map here. Oh, Macedon is a pretty good-sized empire to our northeast. Just kind of... I was about to say black nation, sorry. That's <laughs> but but the, the black dark area on the map. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shut shut yes. up, I'm not racist. <laughs> Your army's... Oh man, military sabotage. Your army's provisions have been poisoned by an enemy spy. Many troops are ill and some have died. I what see the spy jerk. right there, you see her? Your forces have found a concealed foreign agent. Beware of their intentions. Uh, where is it? I don't see her. She's right next to your forces, um, with a little... Oh, Electra, icon. yeah, I see it. Yep. Um... You have a spy down here next to Sparta yeah. you can send up to... How come I can't bring my army to thrash her? <laughs> that seems like overkill, like, a spy? <laughs> All forces, charge! Assassination, uh, let's see, point... <coughs> Don't die, Joel. <laughs> it's the poison. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna do chance of success. Success. How are you taking out this spy now? <laughs> by love. Death by snoo snoo. All right, I'm going over. I'm gonna. Go kill you. What was your choice? Yeah, you watch poison you watch. or? Oh, enemy, an enemy traitor working for your spies failed in the task. Instead of killing the target, they merely inflicted wounds. She's a ghost! Ew. Yeah, where'd she go now? <laughs> She's like in the ground. I think how it works for the next two turns, she'll be in like a, a hospital somewhere. Ah, uh, okay. Recovering. Um, was that poison or like a assassin or... It was, um... They, well, okay, they poisoned our troops and then... I like hired somebody else. Okay, I gotcha. hired a traitor, I think, to like kill her, but nice. then it didn't work, and they only wounded. They probably had a dull blade. What a douche! <laughs> a lot All of assumptions right. there, Joel. Okay, so you want to join me move over one here? Of, yeah, should I move both team, both armies, or just one? It looks like Larissa is currently at negative 10 um, population happiness. You see that right there if you hover over it? Uh, over the spy? or oh, yeah, the Over name. the settlement we just captured. It's actually at negative 65 population right now. Um, and it's negative 10 extra per turn. So why don't you leave one army on there to like keep order and then uh, move in with your second army. Okay. I'm moving over to where you guys, where you are. Okay. Can you move the poisoned army, or is he just stuck there for one turn? How do you tell if they're po like? I, don't, I mean, it says they're poisoned, but does it? Where does it say they're poisoned? You see, like the the green kind of mist floating above them right there. That's the poison. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never noticed, noticed that. I thought I actually thought that was the city burning after we destroyed it, <laughs> or like had that <laughs> green <fight. laughs> gas burning. That I don't know. What I did we it burn it with? Holy crap! <laughs> Burned it with methane. <laughs> <laughs> Chemical warfare in ancient times. <laughs> Well, this is only 80 years ago, so I'm sure they had it. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, it was just before the Great War with all those chemical chemical weapons, yeah. you know. Yeah. This is right before, like, the Mad Men show is based on. Okay. 
Let's continue. Um, I think that's all I want. Um, okay. Click back on Sparta, your city. Okay. Now look under your mini map right there. You see that like little bread icon? Uh, yeah. This What's your five? Okay, so you have a, a food surplus of five. That's very good. You want to keep that in the positive. If it goes into the negative, that means your population is starving, and that will make okay. them all all whiny and complainy. <laughs> Go figure. Got it. I need food. Wah. Stupid plebs and their hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. you good to go? I think I'm good. Sweet. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Research complete. Land management. There is a woman. That went around dress. really fast. Did they not do anything? Oh wait, no, no. Sorry, I forgot. You're right after me. I was like, <laughs> dude, that was really quick. They all just surrendered to our might, Joel, just instantly. <laughs> they knew. Dude, you are literally playing with the worst person possible to play this game with. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've done pretty well so far. I mean. If you weren't here, I'd be like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Let's see, what tech do I want to do? Um, Tax labor. I do like my taxes, so yes. <laughs> some war declared, some traits gained. Pretty basic stuff there. And hey, I'm not bankrupt, which is nice. That's, that's good to see. Those mercenaries are expensive. Oh, man. Right, my research is going. I think I'm going to attempt to... Yeah, I'll poison the wells again. Let's try that. 61% chance. Go, go, go. Excellent choice. Does your mouse have a little hover icon everywhere it goes? Was there Sometimes. Any... Yes, it worked. Oh, nice. I and she nice. ranked up, too. My skills are yours. Yes, I can get a trait here for plus one authority, which adds plus five percent to all uh, actions. They have a decent sized army here. Um, not not decent size, but they have a army. <laughs> Ready I might wait orders. for you to get there to help the siege. Let's see. Let them come. I love the war horn. We take this settlement. None will escape. Wow, they actually have like three armies there. I'm gonna wait for support for sure. <laughs> the uh, the game's like estimation for the auto resolve was like you have yeah. a ten percent chance of winning. <laughs> Advance. All right, I am moving up my naval forces here and ending my turn. I love the Egyptian theme as you end the turn. It's like, ah, oh. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> I can see the pyramids now. Right before we conquer them. <laughs> have you ever watched the show Ancient Aliens? Honesty and hope. Hold on, we have a treaty offer from Egypt. Between our people. They want a defensive alliance. Uh, we're not doing defensive alliances. Everyone shall be conquered. Or uh, subjugated. Yeah, taken, yeah. What's cool is Joel, if you actually conquer the last like territory of a of a faction, instead of just wiping them out and taking it for yourself, you can force them to come to become a uh, protectorate, like a uh, basically a puppet nation, like under your rule. <laughs> wow. They keep their flag and all of their like unique units and all, but they have to pay you taxes and tribute each turn. And they have to be like an alliance like with you. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's like, I have conquered you. Take it. <laughs> Our talk then has been like blossom on the desert breeze. Beautiful, Egypt. but so dry and worthless. Oh, Egypt is taking a long time. I just uh, turned down their treaty right there. Are these all, are these all real names? I mean, I heard of Cyprus. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, Joel... In in old times, there was this this giant empire called Rome. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I mean, just some of these are just like, man, I've never heard of these. Yeah, there's a bunch of really small factions. I, I haven't heard, heard of a heard lot of, of these either. I've heard, I've heard of Libya. Yeah. Liguria. Luigi. <laughs> no. Lugia. <laughs> Lugi. <laughs> I think a lot of these smaller factions, too, had, like, really short lives compared to some of the bigger empires, too, where they just kind of flickered yeah. on the scene for 40 or 50 years and then were crushed or consolidated or... Take it. Dude, there's a lot. There's a lot for us to conquer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're going to finish this series in, like, 2057. Just in time for Rome 3. <laughs> yeah. No, just in time for Half-Life 3 to be released. Oh, why'd you go and say that, Joel? <laughs> I had... Because it's so true. Somebody leveled up. But Daisy Standalone still won't be there. <laughs> Yay, a soldier may find food for himself on the march, but what of a new sword, a bandage, or sandals? You've completed a technological advancement, giving you an advantage over your rivals. Except they probably have already done that. <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of behind here, I think, just a little bit. I have a little warning symbol on my, uh, oh, you are not researching technology. That's what it's for. Man, that's helpful. Isn't it? Yeah, really glad I, they did that. I once in Empire went, like, 12 turns without realizing I was researching nothing at all. And I was like, oh, I just wasted time. For death and oh, honor. these take, like, three turns. No. I want it now. It's my technology and I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the game would bring you back to your characters after it's done doing its thing, but whatever. Yeah, strangely, I was like out out here with uh, Nicomedia. I don't know what's going on over there, but that's a place apparently. Alrighty. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my uh, team up my group up with you guys. Cool. Do you see those small, like, yellow arrows right there? The yellow and red ones as you hover over your troops? Uh... What do you mean? The little, like, pointing away from you? Like, pointing towards something? Yeah, that's showing that you're within reinforcement range of my armies. Huh. Want me to just click more closer onto them? No, no, you're, you're good. According to the... Nope. Alright. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. Still good. Do we have a better chance now? Um, you can join the siege, like besiege the city, and see what comes up. See what it says for the estimate. Uh, let's see. I might have to begin the siege because I'm currently encircling the city. Maybe so. Okay, just go ahead and end your turn then. Construction complete. Traveler's Lodge. Let's see what it says now. To battle! We take this okay, we have a good chance here. It's going to be a, a pretty intense fight, but... Do it. I'd say let's just go ahead and finish these guys off. What do you say? Yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> I hey, Joel. killed myself a man. <laughs> you want to kill people today? Whoa. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Wilson, join us, join us! Yeah! For Greece! Technically, we are fighting other Greeks, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> For the correct Greece! <laughs> Warning, graphics memory is running low. The graphics are being downgraded for this session. <laughs> Take the unlimited video memory box and advance graphics options to override the downgrade. <laughs> I've never had a game actually tell me, sorry, but we're turning the graphics down and you suck. <laughs> it's time to order that computer part, Joel. <laughs> I don't even see my army. Alright, we are in game. Your army is going to be reinforcing, Joel, so I will wait for you. Slingers! You're going to come in behind us. Seas and winds. Land beneath my feet once more. So while I'm in a good mood, let us attack. attack yeah, they got a lot of guys. Attack. Give the enemy no quarter. My general is hey, giving us speech, you have some, like inspirational you have some speech. Blue guys, back here too. Yeah, yeah. We have two armies reinforcing. One of mine and one of yours. Cool. That's quite a good section of troops there. 
Yeah, I love okay. the war horns too. War. Whoa, Spartans everywhere. <laughs> oh wow, dude. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold here and wait for all of us to catch up. This is gonna be a pretty bloody battle. All right, Joel. Do you want to take the coastal attack route or the center of town attack route? Um. Now, looking up, which way are you are you positioned on the map right now? Looking at it, like they're from in front my of me, army uh, and in, looking in the at the seas city. behind them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could take the west coast or the west side of it. All right, I will hit downtown then. <laughs> They have one boat of reinforcements coming in, uh, yeah, from the north there. Check out, like, the signal tower off the harbor there. That's really awesome looking. It's got a signal fire burning. That's awesome. I guess, do we want to do the fast forward until our my troops are closer? Yeah, can you hit it, or do I have to? Yeah, I'll hit it. Uh, oh, you have to second it, I think. Huh, that's kind of cool, actually. Now, don't wear your troops out before they get here, because they'll do poorly in battle if they're all tired. Okay. March them slow. So, do you want to keep your general kind of more back? And more protected, because... He's one of the, he has the he's one of the most powerful, and it, you're basically everyone else is gonna suck when he dies. Or do you want to kind of bring him in because he is really is he like I don't know they they do more damage in his group. They have much better morale and a bit better damage, I believe. And yeah, you have to strike a balance where you want him to be somewhat close because he actually inspires all the troops around him, like the morale increases and all. But at the same time, if the general himself dies. It's a morale crush to the whole army. Hmm. So I kind of have him hang back a bit, and if I have troops that start to like waver, I'll have my general's unit just like charge right in there, and uh, kind of tip the scales, and then pull him back once that fight's over. And definitely make sure that if the enemy has cavalry running around, that your general isn't just marching out there all by himself to get just run down by horses. Okay. So that's happened to me before. <laughs> Look, he's in the back. He's safe. Wait, where did those horsemen come from? All right, we need to slow down here. I've got movement here in the town center. I'm moving uh, one, two, three, four to the left. My general and a hoplite group towards the kind of middle area, and then. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit to the right. In between your blue guys. Cool. My reinforcing army I'm gonna put right in the center. Next to that orchard. So my goal here is to hit the city from basically... Uh, oh cool, I can draw on the map. I'm gonna hit them right here. Oh, well, that arrow is messed up. And here. <laughs> Can you see this? Yeah. And my cavalry should be able to come in right there to reinforce from the side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them here, right out. here, and here. <laughs> <laughs> a bold strategy, Joel. A bold strategy. <laughs> Gotta hit him where it hurts. Yikes. <laughs> There's a small coliseum in town, too. Burn it! Maybe we can catch... No, we should watch. We should make the survivors fight to the death. <laughs> Joel, I like the way you think. <laughs> Only in-game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do not apply this logic to real life ever, please. I want to fast forward again, but I'm, I'm nervous because they keep moving troops back and forth. Just keeping their guys psyched. 
They Don't actually are they listed as eager. <laughs> yeah, they're just like doing a little jogging, keeping their blood pressure up, I guess. My guys are knocking down fences. Smash the fences! Total destruction! <laughs> <laughs> Under formations, the top three one, top three on mines is Isis, Magnesius, Magnesia, and Raphia. What are those? If you hover over, um, it has oh, okay. You, you, yeah. okay, you have to wait long enough. Okay, because it, it did hover over and it showed it, but it, okay, I didn't know you had to wait long enough. For it. Got That's kind of cool, actually. These three uh, top ones, I believe, were, were unique Greek historical formations that were unique to Greek armies. Huh. That's cool. Be nice if when you choose it, it would show the icon of what you've chosen. UI is definitely not great in this game. Hey, the unit cards are smaller at least. I just realized that. They were massive yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, they were really big. It's a vegetable garden up here. You should uh, totally trample that. Trample it! <laughs> <laughs> Let me zoom all the way in so I can actually see it. So these guys, uh, right here, Joel, are they going in here too, or? Uh, I, I was going to go, actually, that way. I don't know if you can. I think you have to go around, like, the, the slums. I don't know. I don't think so. We'll see. I just figured you, you would take this side, and I yeah. would kind of go in this way. Okay. Oh, we can see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll move my might move my guys. But yeah, I think you might have to go like around this way to get in there. But if I engage uh, all these guys right here, you might be able to just run right by them. Yeah, that's true. Just watch out for these guys here, because that's a lot of troops. I have one oh. like slowpoke group. They do have cavalry. Oh, two units of mercenary cavalry right there. Where uh, point them out again? Uh, stand by. One unit there and one unit right there. I'm not seeing that. <laughs> Zoom all the way in, Joel. I know, but I don't see your marking. Look at the troops on the coast near the uh, uh, capture icon. I got it. Oh, wow. The thing is, though, if, if they're stuck in the city streets like that, they basically have to charge your, your ranks dead on in the front. It's not going to be very effective for cavalry. Um, if they were off to the side, I'd be more worried. But they're kind of just stuck back there in the back. It's happening. All right. Are you ready? Um, give me about another 60 seconds to get this last unit into position. Yeah, if you wanted to run your guys, they're pretty close now, so. Yep, my guys are all there now. Alright, let's do it. Alright, on your mark, Joel. Go. Spears ready. Add the double. Yeah, okay, it's my, it has to reroute over it. Double time! Okay. Because I'm going to bring my men over that way to crush those people on the left. Good call. Yeah, I'm going to have all these guys engaged here. That's a nice little flank. They're falling back. <laughs> It's interesting because this game is very like like strategic, but it's not as strategic as Age of Empires, like the actual like fighting part of it. It's this one's like overall like, half between the actual battles and the top-down map view part because it's like kind of mixed between it. Yeah, ancient battles like this were kind of just 
like one thing you got started, which is brawl. Yeah, I mean, like you have less control over your men than you do have Age of Empires, where you actually select specific people to do. Oh right, right. Specific. Yeah. Seven men. Ready on the it's all really cool though. Now, Commander. Your orders orders. Ooh, I got. Oh my gosh. Two of my groups are like marching in within the same group. It's like so packed. Nice, dude. Your flank is working. Watch your back on that last unit, though. He's trying to get around you. I'm gonna try to nail him from the side here. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, I think they're. Uh, oh, they're. One got away. Watch out. Go 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 go, man. Their forces over here are routing. Watch that cavalry charge. Oh, they're stuck like in the crowded city streets. Yeah, I've already broken their entire right flank. Nice. Uh, come over and help my little group in the middle. Coming in. Or send, send two if you can. I'm sending uh, four, actually. We await your command. Missile infantry at your command. Move at speed. Oh, those guys that tried to retreat just got butchered. They fell back guys, right into my lines. My guys. Oh, Their oh, guys. Yours to command. So many spears. <laughs> Ow. You got like a serious brawl going down over here. Uh, use your special abilities, Joel. On the bottom bar. Most units have special abilities like rapid advance or like defensive or aggressive things. Maybe okay. a frenzy. Move out. Those cavalry are actually tearing your guys up there with the spears. Uh oh. oh I have two groups Fight. retreating. I'm retreating two of my groups out here. Whoa, they have cavalry behind me. Oh crap! They're going for my general. <laughs> oh man, they slaughtered my one group in the middle. Dang it. Well, maybe we should Come probably support. Spear infantry ready. It's a slugfest, holy crap. Yeah, they had units hidden in the city that I missed. Oh, yeah. Yes, Commander. Javelin men! Back! Back! Withdraw! Pull back! Oh, the Royal Guard is tearing our guys up in the center. Oh, crap. I'm just trying to keep my guys on the left alive. Yeah, this is getting real nasty here. Your orders. Yes, engage. Several and men, commander. At a charge. Got a bunch of broken units, but I think my center battle is finally going well. 
good. Yeah, those hidden units came down the city streets to my sides and just wailed on us. I've got a small little group. Quick march. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go just. Yeah, I'll bring him up here in the middle. Yeah, you shattered the left side there finally. Nice. Yay. That was a really close one, I thought. Yeah, it got a bit dicey there. Every the last end. one of them. Get yeah. Them all. No mercy. Screw these guys. Ah, they're running over the hills. We'll find you in the hills. Alright, I'm coming to. Going for the command. <laughs> I'm running down their survivors with the cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> They're on foot. I'm just like, no, no, please. Okay, all of the routing has stopped now, finally. So morale is improving. What does improving. that mean? Routing? Yeah, I had uh, a bunch of units that were routing. Let's continue and just run these guys down, jerks. <laughs> Spear infantry at your command. Pop blitzers. Move out. Orders. Your orders. Are your commands ready? We're running these jerks down. Part of the problem is a lot of our units right now are like militia and civilians that are basically trained for the military. From me too as well? Just since we're starting off? Yeah, basically in this time period a lot of the militaries weren't really advanced yet. Ah. I want to kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're like running them down. Oh gosh! Hey, go to the cinematic camera. Oh, <laughs> dude, they're get... like <laughs> it's like lone oh, guy. He's just getting run down. <laughs> I'm gonna go intercept this line of pikemen that's like next to the shore, thinking that they've escaped. Wait, Dave, keep on running them. I'm like, I'm coming around the corner with my guys. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, they're going in circles. <laughs> Forward. Men. A bunch of my guys were injured too, which definitely hurt. After this bit of conquering, it's time to, I think, fortify things and get our economy going again. Prepare our armies and all. Ah, uh, they're, they're gonna get away. They ain't worth my time. Go to the coast up here. I'm about to run these guys down. To a forward. <laughs> oh, I thought they escaped. <laughs> oh, that would suck. You're like, at least I made it out of this war. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, they came over the the sand dude right in front I of them. I see them. Dude, they like came up. They're like running back over there. <laughs> Some of the guys are not even fighting, like, we give up. <laughs> oh, that force kicked one of them. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, dude, look at look at the guy walking off to the right. He's like, da na 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 <laughs> I'm going for him bubble. next, just in particular. Dude, stampede over him. Quickly now. <laughs> he's like, sa he's sad walking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he's George Michael. <laughs> Riders, at the double. Oh, no. I can't attack him, there we go. Oh, you can't attack the single guy. <laughs> They're killing his friends first, that's horrible. <laughs> this is totally worth it. <laughs> I just caught the whole army line again. Oh, no. Next to the shore. Alright, George Michael's gonna live because I wanna get these other guys right here. <laughs> Oh, they're civilian militia, too. Poorly trained, poorly armed civilians. Massacred. I'm just excited that my, uh... My, uh... Royal Spartan, the leader, he actually made it alive. Was he in the thick of all of that? 
Um, For glory! Yeah, he was. I brought him right in. Nice. <laughs> you coming up to meet these guys? Yeah. Slingers! Oh, you already killed them. Loose! Yeah, they're almost gone there. Are those just ships? I wish we could take them. Yeah, they beached a bunch of armies to support the city. Hey guys. I gained head down. Nice, so did we win? Yep, I think that's gonna do it right there. <laughs> I wanna see how many how many died of my group. Eight hundred out of twelve hundred. Holy cow, Joel, that's more than half your army. <laughs> <laughs> you had a nasty fight there on the coast, man. I lost almost 500. That wasn't any kind of walk on the beach, if you will. <laughs> I got slaughtered. <laughs> <laughs> You're a winner, technically. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going against the whole, uh, their cavalry. Oh no, my general did die. When I got Aww. flanked by that cavalry unit. Aw, oh, we should we should have a sea burial. Alright, I'm going to occupy instead of loot. Because I don't feel like rebuilding all the buildings. <laughs> I'm going to <coughs> Ow. For glory and Ow. honor! I think I swallowed some death. Alright, I'm going to <laughs> enslave captives. I now need to pick a new general. Um, going for mounted. I'm gonna go for a general with a good, good amount of authority. That helps his inspiration in battle, apparently. All right, under That's details, I have a little icon going up. Does that mean I can level up or something? General details. Oh yeah, yep. I have a new skill. Warrior, commander, he who is brave is, is, I thought it said is a tree. <laughs> he who is brave is free. <laughs> <laughs> is a tree? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> man, those Greek proverbs sure are weird. <laughs> <laughs> How <service>. to read. <laughs> By uh, what should I do? I'll do warrior. Commander, at your command. Okay, it's not letting me. Oh, I guess I have to wait for my turn, maybe? Yeah, just wait. Patience, child. Patience. Gonna go with the spearman, formidable spearman, for my general's characteristic. It's <laughs> <laughs> so what your mom says. <laughs> <laughs> Say my name! It's been fun, folks. Have a good night. <laughs> I'm going to go kill Joel. <laughs> I did notice that Iparis appears to still have um, one small fleet left alive off the coast of that last conquered territory. Oh, so really? They, they could try to attack us again, but they're probably pretty weak, so it would just be kind of sad. I hope they do it. <laughs> Let's see, um, where am I? Yeah, I can't see yet oh, how yeah, many units they have. Why do they have like a skull over it? Stand by, I've got a barbarian yelling at me in the trade menu. Agree to trade. He wants to trade, but man is he worthy. <laughs> okay, um, Gnosis, which is to our south, oh it's an island to our south, they want to trade. And they're willing to do it for only a hundred gold. That's definitely worth it for now. Much talk can be wearisome unless it brings a cream. So you were asking here. about the skull? So where's the wine? Yeah. What is a skull over the boat? Okay, that means that the units in that army or navy are um what's the word? Deserting. Huh. So they're actually bleeding troops every single turn. And in this case, it's because this fleet has no home territory anymore. Like, we've actually conquered all of their territories, so this fleet is all this country has left. 
That sucks. What's cool is, in previous Total Wars, I, I believe, at least in Empire, if you conquered the last territory of a nation, all their armies and fleets just disappeared all of a sudden, but in this, they stick around, so in theory, if they have like a powerful army out somewhere, they could come back and attack you and actually retake a territory. Hey, duty calls Eris Dr Dread. This force needs leadership, now its commander is gone. Who will answer the call? What commander died? Old age, maybe, or...? <laughs> Can they do that in this game? Quite frequently, actually, because every turn is a half a year. And the life expectancy is not great. <laughs>